hello friends welcome back to my channel in this video tutorial i will show you how to fix blue protocol star resonance game crashing not launching not loading lagging freezing low fps issue on pc so let's go through it so the very first method what you need to do is to check system requirements so for that go to the epic games and search for the game and then go below here you will find the requirements to play the game on your system so make sure your system have all these requirements and after that check if you can play the game next method is to restart your pc for that go to the windows icon over here click on power then select restart so this will restart your system after your system restarts now check if you can launch the game next method is to run game as administrator so for that uh, go to the game installation folder now here the game application is here so right click on it click on properties then click on compatibility and here you have to select run this program as an administrator and then click on apply and ok now check if the problem is fixed if not again come back here you have to select run this program in compatibility mode for select windows 8 or windows 7 and then click on apply and ok and then check if the issue is fixed if the same problem occurs again come back and click on disable full screen optimizations and then hit on apply and ok and after that try to launch the game and see if this problem is solved next method is to verify integrity of game files so for that go to epic games now select your game click on three dot icon then click on manage and then here you can see verify option you simply need to click on verify option and this will verify the files of the game and after that try to launch the game and see if it is working Next method is to add launch arguments. So for that again go to Epic Games, select your game, click on three dot icon, click on manage. Then here you can see launch option, simply enable it and then type minus DX11 and then check if the issue is fixed. If not, come back again and type minus DX12 and then try to launch the game and see if it is working now. Next method is to update your graphics card. For that go to the window search, search for device manager now expand display adapter select your graphics card right click on it click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers this will search for the best drivers or update your drivers and after that check if the issue is fixed nvidia and amd users just go through the link that i have already provided in the description and you can easily update your graphics card from there next method is to run the game as dedicated graphics card so for that go to the windows search search for graphic settings or search for graphic settings over here now here you have to add your game to the list so click on add a desktop app then go to the game installation folder uh, epic games now select your game add it to the list after adding it click on the arrow icon under GPU preference you have to select high performance after selecting high performance now launch the game and see if it is working or not if not next method is to allow the game through firewall for that go to the windows search search for windows security now click on firewall network protection then click on allow an app through firewall now click on change settings and here you have to search for the game if it's listed over here So if it's not listed, you can simply go to the game folder and add it to the list. So uh, click on allow another app, then click on browse, then go to the game folder, uh, Epic Games. Now select your game and add it. Now it's been added. Make sure both private and public boxes are ticked and then click on ok after this launch the game and see if it is working or not next is to overclock cpu and gpu setting this is a temporary fix that can work to lower the load and improve the performance it's a good idea to overclock your cpu and keep gpu normal though this might slow the process but still suggested because there can be a core management issue but if this doesn't resolve then you should stop the overclocking of cpu and gpu and after that check if the problem is fixed Next is to check graphic settings of the game. So when your graphic settings are not properly set up like texture, quality, resolution, etc. Then it directly impacts the game. And this is where the game can crash or suffer from other issues. 
So make sure to set up the settings properly or even you can lower the graphic settings to avoid the unwanted issues. Next method is to close unnecessary background tasks. So for that go to the windows search, search for task manager. Now open it. Now under processes tab here you have to search for those apps which are of no use but running in the background. Uh, simply select them after selecting right click on it click on end task and this will completely close the app from running in the background and after that try to launch the game and see if it's working if not next method third is to update windows so for that go to the windows search search for check for updates now this will take you to the windows update page here you have to click on check for updates option and once it's done now try to check if everything is working fine next method is to disable antivirus program so if you are having any antivirus program then it can interrupt in your gameplay and can lead to such kind of issues so you are suggested to disable all the antivirus program in on your system and after that try to launch the game and see if you can play it next method is to install visual c++ files so for that you have to open the link on your browser or you can simply search in your browser about install or you have to simply search for visual c++ files on your browser and then open it after your website or the link opens go below and from here you have to download the visual c++ files after downloading install them and after installing it restart your pc and after restarting again log into the game and then check if you can play it without any further problem next method is to increase virtual memory for that go to the windows search, search for view advanced system settings now click on settings option then click on advanced then click on change now select the drive where your game has been installed then click on custom and here you have to type 12288 and in the maximum size type 24576 then click on set and then click on ok after doing this changes check if you can play the game if not then the final solution is to reinstall blue protocol star resonance game so for that go to epic games now under library select your game click on three dot icon and here you can see uninstall option so this will this will uninstall the game completely from your system after uninstalling restart your system once after restarting again launch epic games and reinstall blue protocol star resonance game once again and then try to play it and see everything is working fine so that's all for now in this video thank you